hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's servants and today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this pouch for your beaded bags so the materials you're going to need a piece of ribbon you're going to need some pins to secure your material you're going to need your measuring tape you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your material of course um you are going to need a lighter and you're going to need a piece of chalk thread and a needle i forgot to put a safety pin as well so that's all you're going to need for this project don't forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell and let's just get right into making this pouch now for the pouch measurements the widths are the same eight inches each and then for the height of your main material you have 10 inches while for the shorter material you have seven inches so um the next thing we're going to do is to mark the portion where our ribbon is going to pass through so i took three inches from the top to the first sewing part and a um, three quarter inch for the sewing like the channel where the ribbon is supposed to pass through also you should know that you could increase your measurements at any time in this video you mustn't use the same one that i'm doing so I just um, use my pins to secure my um, my pouch or my material and I'm just sewing it down till I reach the first place that I marked. That's it right there and I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to secure it or knot it so it won't unravel. And when I'm done knotting that part, I'm going to skip the three quarter um, inch channel that we made and I'm going to go to the next place that I marked and I'm going to continue sewing from there. You could um, use um, back stitch. I'm just using a running stitch here. It's very easy, very fast. And this is perfect if you don't have a sewing machine, but if you have a sewing machine, you can still use the same method. So I had some um, unraveling on my material and I just um, use the lighter and run it through the material so for the shorter material you're going to turn it to the right side and insert it in your pouch you insert the right side in your pouch and you're going to pin down what pin down jesus the corners and you're going to mark a two inch um mark what am i saying you're going to mark a two inch space um at your back where you're not going to sew then you're going to go ahead and stitch the entire top part till you get to the end of where you marked and when you get there you are just going to flip your project inside out it's that simple i hope you guys are really understanding what i'm saying just flip your project inside out and for the shorter material you're just going to push it in the back and so far we've already have our pouch so now we need to close that gap that we left so with a smaller needle i'm just going to do a matras stitch so the matras stitch basically you're just going back and forth back and forth um throughout the gap that you need to close for example i'm going to um, insert my needle into my main material like so then i'm going to insert my needle again back into my rougher material let me put it that way so you're just going to continue doing this motion till you get to the end and when you get to the end the only thing you're going to do here is to pull that thread that is hanging just pull it and you're going to have a seamless finish like no one is going to tell where you even came from to have this pouch like this so when you have that seamless finish you just knot your thread and to secure it of course so it won't uh, unravel okay up next um is to make the you know to sew close the channel in which the ribbon is supposed to pass through so you're going to see that gap which we left and you are going to sew at the top and at the bottom of that gap so as you can see even though my material is black it's going to be hard to see i'm just using the running stitch again to sew or to make that channel more prominent so that is basically what i'm doing here 
just go ahead and do the running stitch i'm using my smaller needle at this point as you can see that is the channel right there i already did the top part so i'm just going ahead to do the bottom part so that's our channel there where our ribbon is going to pass through is the same on the other side so you're just going to do this around your pouch and here i just um inserted one of the ribbons i'm going to show you how to insert the second one so you just fold it and put a safety pin just pin a safety pin at the end of the ribbon and on the other side of the pouch you're just going to push the safety pin through till it gets to the other side like so it's that simple like in a few minutes your pouch is going to be done and you did it with your hand no machine needed so these are some beaded bags i made i just wanted to demonstrate i have the tutorial for these bags on my channel so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye